fuck. This musky video is gonna be the biggest thing to come out of Iowa since uh, corn. Uh, Caitlin Clark, Hi. corn. What's going on, everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. And you, all of the big Iowa exports, you, you know them, right? Right. Anyway, <laughs> I'm down here fishing. I am on my annual spring trip fishing with Matt Vavrock. Matt Vavrock fishing right back here. The blurry kid in the back is Ben Stone of Ben Stone Fishing. Uh, we are out here on a terribly blustery day. Doesn't seem like it where we are right now, but the wind is a howling. We uh, dodged storms this morning, and we have what should be really good conditions to catch muskies. The water looks really good. It is 55 degrees. I think we're going to have, we might have fish pre-spawn, post-spawn, everywhere and in between. So uh, the only one way to find out to get out there, start catching them. So we're going to do that and see if we can't show you all a beautiful Iowa muskie. All right, everybody. Guess what? It's the Rusty's Custom Lures. Six inch six sucker, that's what I'm gonna start off throwing. Why? Because I like it, that's why. Uh, I have it on a nine, in, nine inch, a nine foot surgical strike, that'd be a short rod, wouldn't it? 2020 assault stick from Chaos Tackle, 400 tranks and fins, big game, excess, 80 pound. Awesome line, love tossing it. Ben's hucking a Medusa. Matt's fiddling around. <laughs> We've all got the Assault Stick 2020s rocking out here in Surgical Strike, Shock and Awe, SWAT, all the good stuff, all the hits. Uh, we're going to see if we can get ourselves a musky. I'm sure that they're in here. There's more planes. Oh no! That was a good one. That was over 40. Did anybody see that? I saw a tail. That was a really good fish. Fun. Yeah, it hit it. it. It knocked the bait right out of its mouth. Oh no. It was over 40, probably 42. What is going on here? <gasps> there's a fish, there's a fish. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Here we go. There we are, boys. Let's go. Yeah. That didn't take long. Awesome, dude. <laughs> I was like, oh, something happened to my bait out there, and I looked about, and there's a just a tail. We will sucker scores again. Put her on spot. There's lock. your alliteration for your title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, that feels so good. That feels so good, dude. That is that is Sorry, two man. fish contacted in the first what? Forty minutes? Thirty 30? minutes, maybe? 30. Yeah, 30. Alright, let's get this girl unhooked and uh, we'll take care of her. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an Iowa muskie in the net. Ben Stone tried to get one in the net. Well, we won't blame that on Ben. We'll blame it on the fish. <laughs> but this one, it hit that uh, that six inch six sucker from Rusty's Custom Lures out a ways. Uh, I, of course, wasn't watching, just felt the bump, looked out, saw the tail, and she came back and hammered it it's not a huge fish but we unhooked it right away so it doesn't hurt itself in the net i'm going to grab it quick get a quick measurement for the musky zinc lunge log and then we are going to get this fish back on its way come here sweetie these fish are so pretty oh, look at her what a beautiful fish that is so awesome all right real quick board nice and wet it down make sure she doesn't hurt herself there we go okay 36 and a half we got our measurement one last look at her and back she goes and we'll see if we can get another one there she goes Nice and healthy. We've got 55 degree water, so 
it's like the perfect temp for those fish to go back nice and strong. But let's see if we can get another one here. Yep, all right. Come up here. Gonna yeah, dude. Where are you on, Ryan? I am right here. Which way are you coming? This way? I don't want to turn his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice one. Bro. That's a good one, dude. Oh, dude yes. That's a good one. That's a nice one. Nice to go. Man, gun. he freaking cranked that out there. That's awesome. I am going to stop this here. I and, thought I, I thought was <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say that little pocket back there looks oh, pretty God, nice. I yeah, I know, right? Dude, it, it crunched that Medusa, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. It crunched it. All right. Come here, homie. Be chill. Or not. Try that again. <laughs> Yep. Blooper reel. All right. We're just going to grab him with the right hand. We'll bump him backwards. It's fine. All right. What a beautiful fish. So freaking cool. Oh, man. Just absolutely cranked the Medusa. Way out on the cast. Oh, not the same one as last week. Shy of 39, 39. Oh, 39. All right, we're gonna get this big girl back. Beautiful, beautiful post spawn fish. Just the bars on it. Just beautiful. Whoa, squirrely, ready to go. Love it. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Brian. Nice Excellent fish, network. Dude. That was awesome. Starting off strong. Starting off real strong. That was beautiful. All right, ladies and gents, we are making a little bit of a move. Uh, usually it's a midday update. This is a mid-afternoon update because we don't have that much time. But despite that, we have two beautiful Iowa muskies in the boat. Ben lost, well, he didn't lose one. Ben had one up. No fault on Ben. It was the fish missed. Blame the muskies when you can, folks, because you don't get that chance too often. <laughs> it, it was a nice fish, though. So everything we've contacted so far has been a, a good fish. Uh, glides, Medusa, Matt got his on a mini Medusa. So yeah, um, I am I'm quite shocked that we're even fishing quite honestly because the weather forecast leading up to this did not look promising. If I would have based what we were gonna do today on what I saw two days ago, I would have not even come. So uh, if nothing else, you know, you just gotta take what Mother Nature gives you and uh, every now and again you get lucky and it turns out to be a little bit better than you think it's gonna be. So with that, we're gonna keep fishing, see if we can get another muskie in the boat here. And uh, yeah, let's get Ben one. Go Ben. Ladies and gentlemen, we have only just scratched the surface of what was an amazing weekend of muskie fishing for Matt, Ben, and I. It was out of this world. It was so much fun. We've got so many videos coming, uh, but we're going to end this one here after a couple nice fish. Ben missed one. I get one. Matt gets one. And it just gets crazier from there. And then the next day is crazy as well. So be on the lookout for those. They're going to be amazing. I want to take a quick second to mention... Musky Zinc, I mentioned in a video earlier that I'll be working with them this year to help promote the sport. 
And I just want to give a shout out to, there's actually three chapters in Iowa. When you think of muskies, Iowa just for most people does not come to mind, but they have an amazing stocking program out there. So many good lakes. There's chapter 10, that's the Heartland chapter uh, in the Clear Lake area. Chapter 29 is the Upper Great Plains. And then the one that Matt Vavrock is a member of, chapter 55, and that is the Mid-Iowa chapter of Muskie's Inc. And very quickly, I just want to take something from the website. You know, one of the purposes of Muskie's Inc. is to promote musclelunge research and to maintain records of habits, growth, and range of species. And the way they do that is through that lunge log. And the only way that we can have accurate data for them to use and other scientists, biologists to use is if you're going to measure your fish, please do it in the safest way possible. A wetted bump board uh, with a fish that hopefully is not too crazy. I know you can't control that sometimes. Get that bump board wetted down, take the least amount of time, get a quick but accurate measurement for that, that good data that we want, and then get that fish back into the water. Uh, for those of you that don't like measuring fish, fantastic. That's fine too. But if you're out there and you want to take the time to accurately measure your fish, that is the best way we can do it. You know, we want to minimize handling, but we also want some of this good data. That's my message this time around for you guys and gals. I appreciate every single one of you watching this mess, and I'll see you on the next video.